In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 to 13, and then Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 to 17. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is how the Lord began his preaching. Just in the same way as John the Baptist also told people to repent. And now we have the Lord doing the same. And he himself, of course, is the very embodiment of the kingdom of heaven. It is towards him, because of him, that all of us wish to go. Repent. Turn towards Christ. We tend to think so often of repenting as being turning away from something evil. It is that. But even more, it is about the change of mind that comes as we focus our whole attention and we move towards Christ himself. And we step towards that great light. He who has ascended and descended, as St. Paul says, and filled everywhere with his light, will cause the shadow of death in you to recede and then disappear and bring you resurrection, both in this life and in the next. As you come near to Christ, he begins to make demands of you. He equips you with ministry. Some of us will become, as it were, apostles and prophets, evangelists, pastors, shepherds, teachers. Some of us will be readers, subdeacons, deacons, priests, and so on. This, right now, is a serious moment to reflect and see if God may be leading you to serve him in some official capacity, maybe round the altar. You may need to talk to your spiritual father about this. If you're married, you'll certainly need to talk to your wife about this, and maybe your children as well. And if they are Orthodox, if they are Christian, maybe to your family, and see what they think of this as an idea. Are you already equipped by God for such a calling? Perhaps your priest or your parish will point his finger or their corporate finger at you and say, what excuses can you think of why you shouldn't be ordained? (laughs) That can be quite a shocking moment when that happens. You see, somebody has to do these tasks. Somebody has to. They cannot be left always to somebody else. Sometimes the person who's being equipped for the task is you, you yourself. You have to equip, be equipped, so that you can then equip the rest of us, the body of Christ. And for what? For the work of service to Christ, to his church, and of course to all the world. St. Paul says this is to make each of us perfect in the work of service. You might have been thinking a moment ago, oh well, I cannot be ordained and sit back nice and comfortably in your chair or sit quietly somewhere or other out of the way. But you too are not left off the hook. You might be young, you might be old, You might be male, you might be female. You also can be perfected for the same work of service. The question is, what does God want you to do? And what does he want you to do for him and with him? Prayer, repentance of course, confession, the sacraments, periods of thoughtful silence, periods of simply listening to what God might be trying to say to you. And so frequently in our prayers, we give no time at all 
to God, to allow him to speak directly to us. And then people say, God never says anything, ever. And I always wonder, did you ever listen? But these periods of prayer, confession, silence and so on, may point you to the way that God has for you. You may need more education. You might need more training. Certainly you'll need training. You may need all sorts of equipping for the task. More discipleship following along behind the Lord. But, although you may feel that you are singularly lacking in all the graces, you are not. Grace has already been given to each one of us for this very task. We just need to make use of this grace. Let it flourish within us so that God can bring to fruition the plan he has for you, for his church, for himself and for the world. And secondly, when we are built up to full spiritual maturity, we will be the measure and stature of the fullness of Christ himself. And that, if you look again at Ephesians chapter 4, is a shocking thing for St. Paul to have said. So repent, turn your mind and your whole self towards Christ, take those steps every day, and repenting is not something you do just once, you do it all the time. Repent, come towards Christ, and let him do with you whatever he chooses. And you will have that grace flourishing within you too. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen.